All right, I want to talk about placeholder images. Now, very often when you're building mobile applications or websites, you want to use placeholders. So lorem ipsum, the text that people use to fill in uh, parts of your layout when you don't have any real content yet, there are lorem pixum type sites. Um, pixum photos is one of these sites so you can get placeholder images that you use inside of your code now I've built a page here just to show and I'm gonna leave a, a copy of this code as a code gist in the comments but the way you'd use Pixum is inside your HTML in your image tags you just point the source to HTTPS Pixum photos and then what you put afterwards is how you control what you're going to get. So here I've specified an actual width and a height. And we can see here that's what's rendering here. Pixum.photo is 300, 200, so width is 300, height is 200 pixels. If you only want to provide one parameter, it will become a square image. It'll use the same number for width and height. If you want to get a grayscale picture, something that doesn't distract as much from the content or the layout, um, just put a G as the first parameter inside the URL. We can take random, so specify random. Uh, the difference between the default and this one is that these don't get cached, this one does. So this will generate a new one for you pretty much every time. If you want to specify a specific image, there's a thousand different images that they have on their site. So you can target, after you put the dimensions in, you can target a specific image from within that range. So you just say question mark image equals provide the number and then you get that. If you want the image blurred, again to reduce the distraction you can make this grayscale and you could blur it. You just put a, a G as part of the path to make a grayscale and then you add blur to blur it. And then if you want a specific image to be blurred you can add an ampersand and then image equals and the number that you want. So I've used the image number zero for the last four here one that's blurred, and then three more to show the gravity property. We have here gravity equals west, gravity equals center, gravity equals east. We can um, use the gravity property to show different areas. So like I've specified I want a 200 by 200 picture. So it's a square 200 pixels, but the image itself is not 200 pixels. It's actually wider than that. So if I were to say gravity west, what it does is it goes over to the left hand side of the picture and shows me a square that is 200 by 200 of that image. Here's one for the center, so it's showing the middle part of the image and then to see the right part of the image you set the gravity to east. There's also gravity north and gravity south, so you can move them in those directions. And that's it. That's Pixum.photos. It's a great way to fill your site with images before you've got the actual images to show. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.